A typical day in the flight engineer world starts out with reviewing any mission-related materials that are necessary for a mission the next day. After that, we pre-flight the aircraft. I'm going to make sure that the aircraft is structurally ready for flight. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check some of the aircraft systems just to make sure that they are operationally ready before we fly. And also we would check that the aircraft forms have been properly filled out because documentation is very important in the aviation career field. We want to make sure that all discrepancies that can keep us from flying have been dealt with and signed off before we go and proceed on our mission. The officers will generally ask the flight engineer how the aircraft is doing for the day. When we're talking with maintenance, it's the flight engineer's job to basically decipher what the pilot wants and what maintainers said, and then I have to basically tell the pilot in a communicable way that we can both understand. The engineer is basically the bridge between them. A flight engineer is someone that's a systems expert on their aircraft. They know everything, emergency checklists, they know all of the systems, how the hydraulics operate, the oil, the engines, everything. You have to be an expert on your aircraft and know every inch of it. The biggest thing that I try to put onto my students and other flight engineers is systems knowledge. That is a flight engineer's bread and butter. You need to know how almost every single gear, cog, pipe, valve in this aircraft actually operates. If you flip a switch on a panel, in your mind, you know where that valve is, you know what it's doing and what it's supposed to be doing and what happens if it doesn't do it and what indications you will get. In the executive airlift world, we have a unique task of transporting our nation's military and civilian leaders around the world. You get to be on the front lines of history for a lot of things. It's a lot more single flight type of things that give you a massive amount of satisfaction because one level of diplomacy can trickle down into so many other things. You may be avoiding a lot more suffering and a lot more bad by just having one flight with one high-ranking government individual going to a place and being able to diplomatically come to a solution instead of having to go into some sort of conflict. I think the thing that makes the flight engineer career field the most unique is the level of responsibility that uh, we give to the crew members. You have to be able to tell a colonel or a lieutenant colonel or a chief or a senior master sergeant that they're wrong, explain why they're wrong, and then push your point because you need to make sure that the crew is safe. I think it's a really unique job being a flight engineer because you're very solitary, but you have a lot of responsibility. Your pilots are looking to you to be the person, the systems expert, to back them up in their decisions. They're busy flying the plane. You have to be busy monitoring the systems and making sure everything is going according to how it's supposed to be. As a systems expert, it is your responsibility to provide that thought out knowledge based recommendation to the pilots when there is an emergency if there is a performance question or if there's a performance problem that needs a solution, all that responsibility falls on you to bring it to a safe conclusion. For instance, we were deployed and we had a propeller low oil light over an op while we were actually engaging ISIS on the ground. And it was basically my job to monitor that engine. Like that engine became my job at that point in time to verify that it was still running because you know when troops are in contact on the ground that takes priority over shutting down an engine so it was my job to keep that engine running while we were delivering our munitions. 